kind of teacher would you like to teach your children? Our presentation is all about preparing student teachers to become 21st century teachers. Our project is all about a collaboration between art students and geography students working together on contemporary environmental issues such as climate justice, deforestation, um, conservation and the challenges of urbanisation. In our presentation we will provide a rationale for our approach, we will describe two modes of assessment that we use, namely visual journaling, journaling and the creation of a collaborative piece. We will describe a model of peer evaluation, which is our closed Facebook page, and we will provide a reflection on the complete exercise. Our project has borne out of um, a personal collaboration between Anne-Marie and myself, where we've had many powerful conversations about the nature of learning. How do we bring transformative learning into the classroom? And the challenges of interdisciplinary teaching. Our student teachers are expected to make cross-curricular links, so we have decided to provide a model of good practice for them. And this is based on the whole idea of teaching for transitions, transitions across the disciplines. How do we break down these rigid discipline borders that exist in our classroom today? It's also based on the idea that 21st century teachers must be 21st century learners. We need to develop skills of critical thinking, problem solving, lateral thinking. We need to foster imagination and creativity. And as we approach the Climate Change Summit in Paris next week, it has never been more important for us to come up with creative solutions to our environmental issues today. This is not easy for our students. Our students are high achievers, but they have limited experience of working in the arts. They find it very uncomfortable when they have to work in artistic media. It's uncomfortable, it's challenging for them as it takes them out of their comfort zone. We are concerned about our, uh, the capacity of our teachers and how their, their creative capacities can be nurtured. Within our primary schools, we have children who are naturally creative. And this creativity does not necessarily need to be taught, but it does need to be facilitated. We need to um, uh, provide opportunities for our student teachers to step into learning arenas that ignite their sense of curiosity, that give them a sense of wonder, and do it in a meaningful way, in a way that means something to them. Creative thinkers need creative learners. So over the last five years, we've developed a process, a teaching and learning tool, called the Visual Journals. Um, the Visual Journals are um, they're an alternative way into, um, into a way of, um, I suppose, documenting a process of learning. They're, um, they're a combination of text, image, and art making. So the students really engage with this process because it gives them ownership <coughs> over the kind of ways that they can actually document their learning. Um, now, it's really important to say at this stage that it's not about the acquisition of skills. We're not concerned about the finished product. What we are concerned about is the types of thinking that evolves from the making and thinking about art. The, the conceptual skills, analytical thinking, observational skills, um, the creative process and the types of work that evolves from that. So, um, the, the, what do the notebooks look like? They're cumulative in process, so we have them there, they document their initial ideas, then they research, they analyse, they interpret, they modify and they evaluate. The, once the process actually evolves over a period of time and their skills and their developing their, um, their confidence, they start to kind of develop a kind of a metacognitive approach to their learning, where they make meaning through um, metaphor and symbol, multi layers of <coughs> meanings. And this is really exciting for us. So that's their individual development, where they're working alone in their notebooks. However, they start to work together then by merging themes coming from the process. And this then, those ideas come together in a collaborative process that I'm going to talk about now. So as anne Marie said, the first part of the assessment is the visual journal. The second part is where students from art and geography come together to design a collaborative piece. So we have students coming from two different disciplines, two mindsets, working together, learning how to appreciate alternative 
perspectives. And the process involves coming up with an idea, researching the idea, designing a collaborative piece and presenting this piece to their classmates. Um, the students work with a variety of media, they, work, they, they create three-dimensional models, they work with film, animation, textiles, drawings and images. And they are assessed not on the basis of their created piece, but on the nature of collaboration and student engagement which takes place. I suppose for us, one of the most exciting examples of collaboration in this whole process has been our closed Facebook page. We have set up a Facebook page whereby 60 learners tentatively put up their ideas and share, share samples of their work from their visual journals. This has been a very, very exciting process and it's, it's been a collaborative conversation as students become foragers of knowledge, seeking connections, engaging conversations with their peers and with staff. So this has been a very good example of inquiry-based learning and constructivist approaches. And for me, it's the ultimate example of a community of learners. So alternative, alternative ways of working lead to less linear, non-rule-bound approaches to teaching. This is really, really important to us. We need teachers in our classroom that are spontaneous, that use their intuition. Um, creative pedagogy and giving our children, the, our, our students, the confidence to go out into our future um, schools um, is really important for, uh, for, for that. So just to finish on, just to finish on um, the idea that we need creative learners, we need scientists, mathematicians, geographers, as much as we need creative artists. As Albert Einstein once said, a sign of true intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. <laughs>